The connection between arts and health isn't new. This has existed really since the beginning of mankind uh, because we have been together as social entities, as groups, generally speaking, through the arts, through singing, vocalization, painting, uh, theater. All of these things have united us, which is part of health. We now understand that we need this actually for mental health, which is something that we're, we're really struggling with across the globe right now. But science looking at arts and health is something relatively new. It's through brain scanning, through the ability to, to do research that uncovers the biology of how we absorb the arts, how we appreciate it, what it does to us, but also how various therapies and creative arts therapies can improve our lives throughout the lifespan. There's no question that the pandemic unlocked um, the understanding that we are creative people, that we need to also engage with each other creatively. So when people were isolated um, and were lonesome and lonely, they started getting on balconies and performing. They started performing outside of a uh, loved one's window when they couldn't actually get into the hospital. So this mode of communication came back very quickly and I think there was a tremendous aha moment for the public when they realized that, hey, there's really something important here. This is who we are.